and welcome back to the Anime and Manga News for the week ending February 8th, 2014. Starting off with the My My Miracle Kickstarter. The Kickstarter for a, uh, a release of the My My Miracle film, uh, which launched earlier this week and funded its $30,000 goal within a day. Wow. It now has added a stretch goal of an English dub if it gets up to $60,000 for its final uh, for uh, for its its funding um, with the suggestions for who should produce the dub they have said that they have friends in the USA so fortunately they're not c starting from completely from scratch on a dub but uh, hopefully if it gets up there then uh, that's a, an awesome thing this is a, a, a Kickstarter from the British distributor anime limited so it would be at least in English but probably licensed um, uh, at least in Britain so we'll, we'll see where that goes um, you know, the good news there is because they said friends in the USA means they actually like dub it over here. Yeah, that'd be that'd be nice. All right, moving on to some news uh, from the Studio Ghibli world. We have an announcement that uh, Hayao Miyazaki won the Annie Award for writing in an animated feature production. Uh, the Annie Award is the Animation Industries Award ceremony. Um, the Wind Rises was also nominated for character animation in the animated feature production, but lost to The Croods, sadly. Um, uh, of course, it was also competing for Best Animated Feature, along with Letter to Momo, but Frozen was chosen for that one. Um, so, uh, uh, there's actually a, a neat little joke during the ceremonies that Patrick Warburton was saying that uh, The Wind Rises is Miyazaki's fifth and final feature, so I can't wait to see the sixth. Thank you, Patrick. Um, for those who don't know, Hayao Miyazaki's retired like seven times. Anyway, uh, moving on to some sad news, unfortunately. Um, anime dub director Kevin Seymour passed away this past week. Uh, he was director for a number of uh, tremendous uh, anime dubs, including most of the dubs for Ghost in the Shell, Macross Plus, the second dub of Akira, Perfect Blue, Dot Hack, um, as well as Ontage the Third, Metropolis, and Code Geass, Lelouch of the Rebellion. Um, he co-founded a U.S. renditions and the anime's dubbing studio. So, sad to see his passing. Moving on, there is going to be a 10th anniversary project for Death Note. So, the fifth volume of the Shueisha Jump Remix version of Death Note came out recently with this announcement of a 10th anniversary project. Date will be March 3rd of this year. Who knows what that means? Uh, the Blade and Soul... MMO from Japan is getting a new anime by Gonzo. Uh, looks like a pretty standard MMO out there, but it is inspired more by martial arts fantasy, so wuxia films, that kind of a thing, as opposed to sort of Western fantasy tropes. The outfits look pretty ridiculous. Um, looks like an all-female set of main characters. Um, main character vo uh, voiced by Aoi Yuki, who voiced Madoka of Madoka as well as uh, Akira in Valve Raid. So, good place to start. Meanwhile, some licensing news, among others. NIS America has announced they've licensed the pilot's love song. Uh, Funimation announced they're going to be streaming Bento this month. So, it's, uh, um, uh, yeah, excuse me. Um, it'll be uh, subbed to subscribers starting on, on February 11th, and then free streaming starting two weeks later. So, that's pretty cool. Um, NIS America has also announced they've licensed uh, Fuse, or Fuse, uh, Memoirs of a Huntress, an anime film that came out, um, I think, last year or the year before. I'm not quite sure. I've actually seen bits of this film, and it's gorgeously animated. Uh, neat little, little little thing. It'll be released on Blu-ray, English subbed, for a suggested MSRP of uh, $50. Includes a hardcover art book, so that would explain part of the cost, um, plus Japanese commercials and stuff along those lines. So, nice limited edition release of that coming up soon. Um, speaking of which, Anaflex USA has announced they'll be offering a Madoka Magica Rebellion Blu-ray in April. Um, collector's edition will be uh, $95 and the standard 40, uh, sorry, $55. Uh, both editions will include a trailer, commercials, opening, and the audio commentary. Uh, collector's edition will also include box, um, packaging art, um, and then a, um, a special commemoratory, uh, theat a commemoratory, ah, a commemoratory theatrical release video. 
uh, plus a booklet and a soundtrack CD. So a lot, a lot of stuff there, actually, for your, uh, for your money. The Broken Blade films are going to be released on TV. This is a uh, quite popular mecha series of movies that are being um, basically split out into a TV series. Uh, six films will be adapted into a 12-episode TV series with new scenes added, plus a spin-off OVA project that's already in the works. So you'll be able to see a good chunk of, of uh, new material, apparently, with this new version, which is a, a, a good thing. We'll have a new opening theme song by Sayaka Sasaki and an ending theme by Aira Yuki. Um, that'll be premiering in April. You can actually get all the films right now from Sentai Filmworks in North America. Um, quick note on some DBZ news, because everyone cares about DBZ. Uh, Funimation has announced they're uh, delaying the Season 2 Blu-ray release of Dragon Ball Z from February 18th to March 4th. So just a couple of weeks delay there on the Season 2 Blu-ray of Dragon Ball Z. This happens occasionally with Funimation. They have, you know, production delays. Moving on to a little bit of Naruto, I'm sorry, a little bit of manga news about Naruto. Uh, the 64th uh, volume of Naruto is number one on Nielsen Bookscan's top 20 graphic novel sales in January. So number one best-selling graphic novel period in January, in uh, at least in the U.S. So Naruto's still quite popular in Japan, at least on the, the, the manga front. Um, volumes 10 and 1 of Attack on Titan were the second and third slots, followed by uh, Naruto 63 at number 10, uh, two other volumes of Attack on Titan at number 8 and 19, and then a Monster Musume and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel also on the list. So, doing quite well. Uh, the 7th International Manga Award was won by a, a, an artist from Thailand. Quite interesting. Uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Japan has announced the winners and runners-up of the 7th International Manga Awards. Um, I'm going to murder this, this name, so uh, pardon me. Jatukanya Pratip. Uh, sorry. Jatukanya Pratip is the winner of the 7th International Manga Award. Again, I hope I got that uh, decently well. Uh, it is for the manga Bok Big, or the comic Bok Big, whatever, however you want to uh, uh, describe that. Um, Silver Awards went to George Alexopoulos' Paris, Navarre's Carrier, and uh, Francis Porcel and Zidru's The Folie Bergère, plus uh, other awards, of course, for various things. So interesting there that these uh, uh, International Manga Awards no Japanese titles, unless Navarre. I think Navarre is a Japanese person. So yeah, there we go. Um, Takako Shimura, the artist behind The Wandering Sun, Horomusuko, has announced she's going to be starting a new manga um, alongside her upcoming serialization of Musume no Yede. The new manga will be titled Wagamama Chie-chan, basically called Selfish Chie-chan. And unfortunately, that's about all we know about it so far. But... More manga from the creator of Wandering Sun. That's a good thing. Uh, and that is the news for this week. So that's it. Uh, and thank you for watching. That's it.